Welcome back guys. Tonight I've got a review of the Javel 8 inch meat cleaver. Is this $17 gigantic meat cleaver off of Amazon worth that 17 bucks? Even with its little flaws? Let's look at it and find out. All right guys, so here's the box that it comes in, eight inch. Uh, I'm gonna be putting some pictures in of me with this knife and some other things throughout the video. This is the knife itself. It is eight inches long. I know I did not measure it. I just thought to measure it, but I didn't get to it. My apologies. It is uh, two pounds, 15 ounces. My average knife is, well, I use like a parent knife. It's like two ounces, but um, this is a very heavy knife. It, it has a lot of momentum. Um, so like I said, I got this off of Amazon. I uh, came here in a very predictable amount of time that you would expect from Amazon. No issues there. Seller, didn't have any issues with them. Never do. Uh, when I got it, uh, this is gonna come into play later on the video again, which I need you guys to watch till the end on this one. Um, when I got it, the edge was very bad. And there are voids throughout the knife. Right there you can see one in the middle. And throughout the blade, those specks you're seeing, voids. Along with on the edge of the knife. Uh, I ground all those down. There were chips and nicks throughout the blade. I ground those down, sharpened them on my uh, whetstones, and it turned out really good. Um, I had to take a lot of material off though because there's pretty deep chips. With that said, you know, for $17, I'm not really too concerned about it. Uh, so, with that said, uh, I think I'm just going to get straight to the test and uh, open some things, chop some things, and uh, we'll see what happens. How well does it open packages? It is extremely awkward. And that little chipped point, well, flat point is not helping out, so we're going to have to slice it. There we go. Got it. It was flawless. Absolutely flawless. Couldn't have asked for a better knife. And how well does it open junk mail? Nah, I think a bigger knife would be better. How was it with deli meat? I'm gonna make some sandwiches for it tomorrow. Be very careful, get it nice and precise. Perfectly sized. All right, guys, so as you just saw, um, yeah, I'm not going to use this knife for food because of, like I said, the issues with the blade. I was just chopping that bologna, and I really wasn't going that hard. Yes, this is a heavy knife, so it has momentum behind it, but I bought this knife ultimately to be used in the kitchen, and I was actually going to do a test, which... I'm actually returning it right now to Amazon after I shoot this video. I don't want to damage it any further. I was going to get like a small turkey or small chicken from Walmart and just chop it in half because who doesn't want to see that, right? Well, um, the, the bologna's would did all this damage just from it plopping onto the board. And I mean, it still isn't that soft, but the, there's voids in there that I didn't see because I ground all those out. Or I thought. So there's more voids in there. And the bologna that I did chop up, because I did that scene in a couple of shots, I threw it away. Because I didn't know what metal was in that food. I didn't want to. I wanted to eat it. With that said, though, I'm sorry to be negative about this review. I really wanted to keep it. I really like it. It's a nice knife, guys. But unfortunately, I don't trust it in the kitchen. So with that said, if you guys have any questions for me, put down in the comments. Thank you want me to review or try in the comments. With that said, I do want to thank you guys very much for watching. 
great night.